It's the Brussels sprout recipe today and in the air fryer. Can't get much more simple than this recipe. The air fryer just cuts time in half when you're cooking and Brussels sprouts are one of those things that are like either they're delicious or they are terrible and you don't want to touch them. This recipe I've actually already made once and literally Tim and I devoured the Brussels sprouts. So I'm just gonna go over with you guys all of the simple, easy steps to preparing this amazing Brussels sprout recipe. So the first thing that you need, of course, is Brussels sprouts. And I got this big, giant bag from Trader Joe's. These are a little smaller, so the first time I made this recipe, I had huge Brussels sprouts, probably about that big, and I actually cut them in fourths because they were too big. These guys are small enough that I'm just gonna cut them in half, so I'm gonna clean them up first, cut them in half, and then put them in a bowl like this. I finally cleaned my Brussels sprouts and I will say that is what takes the longest in the recipe is just cleaning all the leaves off and especially the organic Brussels sprouts because there are definitely bugs that have chewed and are still sometimes living in the Brussels sprouts so I really make sure to get all the leaves cleaned up and then um, obviously cut off the bottoms a little bit and then cut them in half so that's what I did. Now we are going to do the first portion of this recipe, which is a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, pepper, pepper, and garlic powder. So I'm just gonna evenly drizzle this over the Brussels sprouts. Once you drizzle the olive oil over your Brussels sprouts, you're gonna just toss them up so the olive oil is coating evenly. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings. And we're gonna toss it one more time. Now we're ready to move on and put them in the air fryer. So these are actually a two part cooking process. We're gonna put them in the air fryer at 400 for six minutes and then we're gonna take them out and add some more ingredients. And that's what really makes them delicious because they're nice and crispy and cheesy. A lot of you guys ask me what air fryer I have. I have the Magic Chef one, which is extra large, has a big, big drum and what I like about this is that the basket is removable on here so here I'm gonna dump the Brussels sprouts into the air fryer bottom I don't want any overlapping so I'm just gonna move them around so they're all just one layer on the bottom okay we're gonna cook these babies up for six minutes So while the Brussels sprouts are frying in the air fryer, I'm gonna get the toppings ready. So I actually am gonna hand grate some Parmesan cheese. I Last time I made this, I actually used like the, the grated Parmesan that comes in a little container, um, and which worked out fine. A lot of it fell off into the bottom. I think having it grated and having it a little bit longer will help it stay on the Brussels sprouts, so that's why I'm doing that. And then I'm also gonna get some panko breadcrumbs ready. So. How am I gonna do that? First and foremost, come with me. So I'm just gonna brown up my panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use a little bit of butter on this and get it going on the stove top. Just a little butter, I'm gonna start melting this. I want the butter evenly melted on this pan before I even pour in the panko. So I just have to melt this down and then I'm just eyeballing all this because it's really based on how many Brussels sprouts you're making. You just want enough to like coat the top of these 
Brussels sprouts um, with the panko, so I don't want to go crazy. So I mixed the panko with the butter just so it kind of coats all the crumbs, and then I'm going to add this vegan chickenless seasoning to it. Um, you can use like a bouillon cube or some other type of seasoning. This is phenomenal though. It just gives it a little extra flavor and I'm just sprinkling a little bit over the top and I am going to take this off the heat once the breadcrumbs start to brown up, which does not take very long. It's already starting. It doesn't take long for these guys to brown up, so make sure you keep moving them around they're really good you can toss them I'm not even gonna attempt that I use um, just using the spoon I used and just kind of moving them because you don't want one side to get brown and the other side not to and they do go fast so you got to keep your eye on it this is what they look like browned and I'm gonna set these aside so the last step is just to shred up some Parmesan you can do as much or as little as you want um, and then we're just gonna use the crumbs and the cheese to put on top of the Brussels sprouts and then fry them again. So it's super easy, super simple. Let's get this Parmesan going. All right, so they're already looking amazing. I'm sure I could stop at this point and eat them right now, but no. There is more to be done. So I'm gonna grab my panko breadcrumb little pudding together and I'm gonna sprinkle these all on top of my Brussels sprouts. And then the last thing is the shredded Parmesan. Oh, that's a lot. I shredded a lot. Now I'm gonna put this back into the air fryer for the exact same time, 400 for six minutes, and then they're gonna come out crispy. The Parmesan is completely melted and it is so delicious. So round two, here we go. Yay, it's ready. And I will say the whole house smells so good. I know Brussels sprouts sometimes smell like farts. I know, but these smell really good because you can smell the Parmesan and the garlic so this is what they look like I know they look kind of like a spider web attacked it <laughs> but I promise they're delicious spider web and all so I'm gonna plate some of these and I'll give you guys a little taste test I know they're gonna be good though so let me plate them up here's my brussel I picked one that has a ton of seasoning and cheese on it <clears throat> so excited Mm. these are so delicious and coming out of the air fryer they're nice and hot they have that crunch tons of flavor I think I owe a lot of the flavor to the veganless chicken seasoning without that I'm not sure I think that seasoning really makes this. I would say all in all, it is a delicious addition to any meal. And if you're like me, I tend to eat sides as meals. So this is my lunch today. And uh, I'm gonna dig in and enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.